Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know who it is, man. It's Kevo, man. Okay, so I did uh, some videos about Manny Pacquiao recently and you guys are absolutely loving them, man. You guys know who makes them. The original maker is Vincent Revolution, man. That guy has some amazing videos, man. If you guys don't haven't checked them out, go check them out. Link in the description, but make sure you check them out after you watch the video first, okay? Watch the video first, then go check them out, okay? So anyways, man, he posts this one. It's uh. Manny Pacquiao, facts, nobody mentions, greatest of all time, pound for pound, man. So Vincent's going to tell us why Manny Pacquiao is the greatest of all time, why pound for pound of all time, man. A lot of you guys already say, we all know why Manny's the greatest, man. Eight division, how much Manny's been fighting for a cause, man. Manny's been fighting since he was young, Manny's humble. That's why so many people love Manny Pacquiao, so many people. But anyways, let's go watch this video. Let's see if you first time you guys are seeing this. Let me know in the comments. If it's not the first time, let me know in the comments. And let's get into this damn video, man. A lot of boxing fans believe Muhammad Ali is the greatest of all time pound for pound. Most recently, Floyd Mayweather has made a claim to the throne because of his 50-0 record. However, with that undefeated argument, could we say that Julio Cesar Chavez is the GOAT of boxing since he was 89 wins before suffering a loss? And most boxing experts agree that Sugar Ray Robinson is the true GOAT of all time in boxing pound for pound with a staggering record of 173 wins, 109 by KO, 19 losses, 6 draws, and 2 no contests. But could Manny Pacquiao Damn. possibly surpass even that of Sugar Ray Robinson? Could he surpass Muhammad Ali? Could he surpass Floyd Mayweather? Keep watching this video to see a compelling argument for it. And I challenge you, my friends, to watch the full video and listen to the full argument before making up your mind. That's my only challenge to you, to hear me out objectively. For us to take the- I like how Vincent opens up, man. He's like basically challenging you guys to make sure you guys watch the damn video. So I challenge you guys to watch this whole video, man. Let's, let's, let's go. Facts to take the numbers and really find out who is the greatest boxer pound for pound of all time. For a long time now, Muhammad Ali has had the unanimous throne as the greatest boxer in history, pound for pound. In 1999, ESPN made it official, keeping Sugar Ray Robinson the rightful king. But could a small Asian flyweight boy from a third world country claim the throne of Ali and maybe even Sugar Ray Robinson? Ali's last fight was at 39 years old, and Manny Pacquiao, at nearly 41 years old, just took one of the best welterweights in the world to Sunday school. <laughs> Is Manny Pacquiao the GOAT pound for pound in boxing? Robert Garcia seems to think so. Max Kellerman says there's a compelling argument for it. Even Julio Cesar Chavez seems to think so. What do you think? Let's first talk about it. And we're live. Awesome. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? Vince Revolution here inspiring you to be the best that you can be. This video will be broken up into two parts. If you're tempted to comment, please wait until you watch the entire video That's so right. you don't foolishly comment prematurely. Let's state out all the facts first and foremost. The first part will be the argument against Manny Pacquiao being the greatest of all time, pound for pound. The second part will be the argument for Manny Pacquiao being the greatest of all time, pound for pound, in the modern boxing era, and perhaps right. even in history. In history, That's okay. right, the greatest boxer of all time. One of the main arguments against Manny and for Floyd Mayweather is that Manny Pacquiao can't be the greatest of all time because Floyd beat him. Argument against that has been Floyd didn't beat him, in fact Manny Pacquiao won that fight and Manny Pacquiao only had one arm in that fight as well. The second yeah. argument against that would be even if Floyd did beat him, it doesn't make Floyd greater than him. Does that make all of the fighters that beat Manny Pacquiao greater than him? Or does that make all of the fighters that beat Muhammad Ali greater than Muhammad Ali? Or perhaps all the fighters that beat Sugar Ray Robinson are better than Sugar Ray Robinson? The argument that somebody got beat and the person that beat them is greater than them is then put to rest. When Manny Pacquiao got knocked out when he was younger, was that fighter greater than Manny Pacquiao? The obvious answer is no. no. Manny Pacquiao got knocked out by Juan Manuel Marquez when Marquez stepped on his foot and hit him with a counter. But I don't think there's anybody 
in the world that would consider Juan Manuel Marquez's greatness oh, above really? that of Manny Pacquiao. Certain Holy shit, I did not know that. He stepped on his foot, and that's how Manny lost his balance and went to a punch. Yo, I, I gotta watch this video, Marquez and then uh, Manny Pacquiao, man. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to check that video out and like, do a little review about it, like a reaction. You know? Let me know in the comments. Certainly not any of the experts. One determining factor also to greatness, as wow. Max Kellerman put it, is what was Manny Pacquiao's peak? Was it when he destroyed Oscar De La Hoya into retirement? Or was it when he took out Barrera and everyone saw him emerge? Manny Pacquiao is the only eight division world champion, winning 10 world titles. In this century alone, Manny Pacquiao has only been knocked out once, again, when Juan Manuel Marquez stepped on his foot. He's a really? five division lineal world champion compared to that of wow. Sugar Ray Robinson, who is a three division lineal world champion. Manny Pacquiao is the only one in history to do both of these things. He's also the oldest welterweight champion in the history of boxing and the only champion in the four original glorious divisions. Manny Pacquiao could very well be the fastest combination puncher that's also a power puncher. He's helped his country and the poor people, he's built hospitals, he's been the only active congressman and boxing champion, and now the only active senator and boxing champion. In fact, when Manny Pacquiao was boxing professionally, Keith Thurman was still being potty trained. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao has rose from the flyweight to the light middleweight, from a teen to a middle-aged man, conquering champion after champion. Even Max Kellerman admits that Manny Pacquiao is better pound for pound than Floyd Mayweather. One wow. of the cases for that is that he's beat 21 world champions. Floyd Mayweather has beat 13 world champions. Well, what about Sugar Ray Robinson? How many champions has Sugar Ray Robinson beat? Sugar Ray Robinson has won three championships in three divisions, and he's had a total of 22 title fights. Floyd Mayweather has had 27 champion fights. Muhammad Ali has had 35 champion fights. And Manny Pacquiao? Manny Pacquiao has had 45 40 champion fights. Holy shit. 45, man. That's 10 more than the other guy. Damn. No, this Vince, you're making Manny Pacquiao look really good, man. And the thing about it, you're doing it with facts. Like, you're doing it with Facts, man. Not just make, like pulling out of the ear, man. You're doing more facts. Oh, yo, doing. I like this. I like this video so far. Like the video, man. Ten more than Muhammad Ali, and 23 more than Sugar Ray Robinson, and 18 more than Floyd Money Mayweather. So Damn. there's a compelling case here for Manny Pacquiao Damn. being not only the greatest of all time in the modern era, but the greatest of all time ever in That's boxing it. history. Separating ever. the sheep from the true goat of boxing. The little Asian Filipino, Manny, Pac-Man, Pacquiao. Damn. These are my thoughts on that, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I know this Woo! is going to be an interesting argument. It is. So keep it fun, keep it friendly, be positive and stay positive, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Well, well done. Well done. I don't know what to say to that, man, because Vincent did that so damn well, man. Honestly, like when he said that Manny Pacquiao is 10, like championship, man. Like he just defended his more 10 times more than the next guy. Like, holy shit. When you really think about it, like that's true, man. And I think about it like now it's the competition is so much more like, like deadly and like everyone's hungry now. So when, when Manny comes out in this era, man, this era, when everyone knows like the unique techniques and fighting style, man, everyone, everyone's hungry to win. And Manny Pacquiao is at 41 can still take on the best man still taking on the best we just found out about keith thurman man what was it 29 and oh 29 and oh and manny just crushed him man like i personally think manny crushed him especially in the first round especially after keith thurman like talked so much crap about manny manny so much saying gonna retire all that stuff and then what happens in the first round manny knocks him down manny knocks him down the first round, Keith looked stunned when he fell on the ground. Like, everyone saw that. Keith just looked stunned, like, completely. Like, he was out of it. He's like, I couldn't believe what just happened. Like, he could not believe what just happened. The Manny Packet at 41 knocked him down. And when you think about it, eight division. Eight division champion. Sugar Ray Robinson only had three. 
Manny Pack has almost three times more than Sugar Ray Robinson. Almost three times more. Damn. Like, honestly, Manny Pacquiao has, like, like Manny Pack is, like, the greatest, man. Honestly, they really need to check the Guinness record, man, and put something about Manny Pacquiao. Because Manny Pacquiao should definitely be there. And the fact that Manny Pacquiao is still, like, active. Like, he's an active senator in the Philippines, man. He's boxing, and he's still an active senator. Like, who can say they've done that? No other boxers can say they've, they've done that or have done that or still doing that or whatever, man. No other boxers can do that. That's why Manny Pacquiao, honestly, man, is the greatest of all times. I think, personally, I think he's the greatest of all times. Many of you guys think he's the greatest of all times. Floyd may want to talk, blah, 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 blah. But everyone saw the fight with Floyd and Manny, man, and Floyd just kept running around the ring. Right? Running around the ring. And I didn't know that Manny Pacquiao was only knocked out once, man. I just learned something today. That Marquez, only ma he's the only one who knocked him Manny Pacquiao. And people are saying it's only because he stepped on Manny Pacquiao's shoe, man. That's why. And when you think about it, that's true, man. That's kind of true. If he did step on Manny's shoe, Manny Pacquiao would have got out of the way. But we don't know. We can't. We don't know. All we know, the facts are that Manny got knocked out and we got to accept it. That's it. But anyways, man, if you guys made it all the way to the end and you guys think Manny is the greatest, let me know in the comments down below, man. You guys made it all the end. You guys enjoyed the video. Give, give it a like. Give it a like. If you guys love the video, just subscribe down below, man. If you love the video, just subscribe down below. Make sure you turn post notification bells on. I'll catch you guys next one, right? Peace.